Dan Thomas by United Decision here with Lewis Benson. How are you feeling today? Yeah, good mate. Um, good to get the pressure done. A wee session tonight, get on the weight and yeah, just get ready for Saturday night. Looking forward to being back in Glasgow? Yes, we have a good fight, good, sh good show. And um, the main, main event heat up out there just now, so it's quite <laughs> funny as well. So obviously two boys going to go at it. Um, so. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, your opponent was quite uh, funny as well. <laughs> ah, he's, he's a showman, you know what I mean? Um, you can fight as well, you know what I mean? You can't do the guy lightly, which I haven't. Um, because I know what he brings to the table, and I know he just told me there he's going to knock me out. So, if he's saying this, he obviously believes it. And I've got to uh, make sure it's done that. I need to be on my game. So, I'm, I'm good, I'm ready. Yeah, so another live opponent for yourself and I yeah. think over the last year, year and a bit you've it's all been stepped live, up you know, yeah. I mean, all, all my fights have been um, live opponents, a couple of unbeaten boys and stuff like that as well so I'm at a, I'm at a good stage of uh, my fourth fight in the year um, so that's good as well, it's kept me um, it's kept me in the gym it's, and now I'm building a bit of momentum I'm saying like late, like September time when I fight um, I'm going to be in very, I'm going to be on a good roll and I'm going into these fights. When I went into the um, coil fight, I just came off a small injury and just took it out after being out of the ring for six months. By the time I've had two good fights, then boom, there's a big one, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, um, as we sort of sort of just saying before camera, but um, obviously made the step from part time to full time. How have you found that sort of transition? To be honest, I've been, I've been full time since um, full time since 2012 or something. Oh, right, okay. I've so been, we I've just been lucky enough um, through the back I've had over the years. So I've been full time for a long time. I've had a wee like part time jobs in between, but nothing really. Like, that was very much second job, yeah. A couple hours a day and stuff like that. So I'm, I've been very lucky. Yeah. But I'm full proper full time now like um so it's good yeah um obviously that you've probably spoken about this before but those two sort of fights especially the core one as well and then the one with mckenna um a lot of people saw those as tight a lot of people as well saw you edging them yeah. I, 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 yeah I don't know what it was sort of like to be involved in, in it them was, it was good to get my name out there i got the fight got my name out there um Everyone knows who I am in the boxing world now in Britain. Um, everyone knows I'm a threat. Um, so that was good. Um, obviously, the decisions, the Coyle one, very close. Um, the McKenna one, I won out of the park, in my opinion. Um, there was only one person celebrating after the fight. Um, it's just a bit unfortunate, but it yeah. is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, I've still got my health. Um, Boxing second to your health, or even further fourth with family and all that coming before that. So, as I said, I'm all good. I'm good to go. Um, I've got everything I need in life. Um, I'm having boxing in my life's a bonus. You know what I mean? So, again, being a face, not anything. You know what I mean? Like people, it doesn't really bother me. I'm not going home. It doesn't like it doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? Um, as long as I know I went in there and gave him all. And both of the fights, I did give them all, so yeah. that's why I'm happy, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Um, I remember as well, you sort of contemplated, like, maybe stopping boxing. Um, yeah. I guess, obviously, being back in these nights. Mm -hmm. so you've been through sort of a tough, tough period. Yeah, but I'm at a, I'm at a good place just now. Yeah. I feel good. Um, nothing really going wrong, just focusing on my boxing, which and that's what I need to be focusing on. Um, my business is going well, um, my company is doing, um, my company, um, my boxing is going well, so everything's going good, man, you know what I mean? Like, I'm blessed, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in a good position, um, win this fight, and I'm, and I'm in an even better position, so that's all that matters for me. Uh, I, that's something I haven't chatted to you about before as well, is your, your your meal prep business, how's, yeah. that, how's that getting along these days? Unbelievable, you know yeah. what I mean? It's started very, very small and we're expanding already, so 
I can't um, I can't complain. Um, very like shocked, but um, I'm not shocked at the same time because of the fact that I knew my quality of all my stuff and my marketing was really good. Um, people around me were very good as well. So I, my wheel prep company is doing really well, um, and the name's brilliant as well. Knockout meals, you know what I mean? I'm involved, you know what I mean? I don't get many Trade knockout. Market, I, don't get, I don't get many knockout, but knockout meals still sounds good. So yeah, the names are one. Um, and then just food, um, food quality is high. Um, so I, it's been brilliant. I uh, check it out, people. <laughs> <laughs> um, as well, you've obviously made the transition to moving with Johan Senior yes. um, through uh, Morrison's gym. How yeah. have you sort of found that? Um, beginning, it was it was tough to um, get out of my comfort zone and stuff like that. But a few weeks in, started really enjoying it. Um, been really good, um, different. Um, enjoy it. And when I'm in Edinburgh. Um, I always still have the lock in gym if um, there. There's family, you know what I mean? I've um, been involved in that gym for 10 years, but this camp I've, I've done in Morrison's been really good. Um, Joanne Seniors. Um, added a few things. Um, we were adding a few things in it. It was like that. We got the opponent. I was like, look, you just need to go back to what you always do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to do a few things. Um, then it was like, look, let's just go back to what you always do, box, and then we'll get this fight out of the way, you know what I mean? This guy's um, had 50 fights, never been stopped. Very unlucky a lot of times. Um, so, he said he's gonna knock me out, so we'll see. You know what I mean, I can box, I can move. I don't see that happening at all, but God loves a try, eh? <laughs> For sure. Um, when you're sort of talking about um, where you are in the country and things, sort of ranks, for the, sort of the latter stages of the year, is that your aim to sort of step back? Win this fight, guaranteed to tell fight next. Guaranteed to tell fight next. Um, win this fight, look good. Few, few people probably won't want to fight me, but I'm going to look good on Saturday night. Um, then title time, you know what I mean? It's a long time coming. Yeah. And if I had title fights and they two fights, I would, three judges would have been there, I would have won both of them. Yeah. I remember that was something that you'd said at the uh, time like that. I knew it. Like, you can still, to be honest, three judges doesn't always mean you're going to win. Yeah. Because look at Tyson Fury in America. He he beat Wilder and he didn't get a decision. So there's also a lot of fights like that. So, but three judges over here may have, may have done it, may have not. I'm not even bothered with the fights anymore, you know what I mean? I'm, they're behind me, they're just yeah. done, you know what I mean? Um, I'd say that I'm vocal, I want the rematch. I deserve the rematch. I don't care if it's in Belfast, I'll go to Belfast. My pals will love it as well, so. <laughs> we away trip, you've been, yeah, been there before? Yeah, Belfast, so. it doesn't bother me where it is. And I've seen, I seen how he is in Belfast. I'll bring out the better of him in Belfast. Yeah. And it'll make me up my game even more. I, I love going in the Lions then, so. I'd love, I'd love in Belfast, I'd love in Scotland. But I mean, if that fight didn't happen, Maybe it happens in a couple of years' time or whatever. But I do feel the fight should happen again if it's good and everyone enjoyed it. Um, but then again, I, don't, I can't be looking overlooking this guy on Saturday night, you know what I mean? So it's all about, um, it's all about the time in these fights, you know what I mean? So I've just got to make sure I look good on Saturday night, and then these fights will come. Yeah. And I'm very confident of doing that. When you're saying you've got a guaranteed title fight, is that? That's guaranteed, like, um, yeah. like it would probably be an um, in an international title or something like that, but I'm getting one, you know what I mean, so I've been told, so yeah. I just need to make sure, yeah. no slip-ups. Yeah, fair enough. Um, obviously, sadly, sort of, recently, um, Conor Law passing oh, away, um, I know you, you knew him well, um, yes. I guess it's been a tough period for yourself yes, as well. Yes, of course, well. Um, Conor was a massive star in Scottish boxing. Um, Conor meant a lot to myself. Um, we were rivals for a bit, but even when we were rivals, um, there wasn't bad blood. We all laughed and joked still, you know what I mean? Because we went through the whole amateur career together. My, from the start to the finish, he was there. He, um, 
he was about, you know what I mean, he bought for years as well. It was quality, beat everybody. Um, I will never forget, um, I fought him on Earth Castle. That was the first time we boxed. Um, he was beating everyone and he beat me as well. He beat me, um, all the fights were close, but you know what I mean, all of them. He beat me, he beat me there. Then, Scottish final, I boxed him again. Um, we had a big massive, like there was like a big press tour and all that. Um, <laughs> I, I ended up being the big underdog, and I ended up being Conor, Law and that was that was massive to me. That was being Conor. Conor was a man, you know what I mean? They had a southpaw style that everybody hated. Everybody, um, but I just got it right on the day. You know what I mean? My coach gave me a game plan, um, and. Connor man, um, wish you were with us now, um, a qualifier, I um, love the guy, you know what I mean, he was, he was a big, he was a big um, character through the, through all the trips, I remember, he used to be so bad at cars, everyone used to forget how many cars was, and he'd lose his money, you know what I mean, so, <laughs> um, he was always up for a laugh, he actually was in lock end, um, a couple of months ago, maybe it was six weeks ago, and he just told me about his deal with Warren, and I was buzzing for him because he deserved a break. Um, that's the thing, you, I see him smiling all the time, I just thought he was happy all the time, I thought he was living his best life because a guy like him, good looking, nice girlfriend, um, quality boxer, I just thought his life was sorted and you don't know how someone really feels. And I just hope he's in a better place now. Um, devastated, um, was devastated after it, and still devastated now. He's my man. Um, so rest in peace, Connor. Um, and I hope I make you proud on Saturday night. Well said. Um, I think that's a good end to that one. Best yeah, luck on your Saturday night.